Voters in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin voiced their opinions on Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump with less than two months before Election Day. Kevin Cork has more on what they had to say. With less than 60 days left until November 5th, the stakes couldn't be higher this election. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump facing off in their first debate Tuesday night. But before they hit the stage, Fox caught up with voters in Philadelphia and asked about their top concerns in 2024. Women's reproductive rights obviously are a huge issue. Definitely the, uh, the inflation stuff because I know it's like the price is going up so high right now. Definitely gun violence and climate change as well. The southern border is a big thing right now. Um, I just think like there's too many people coming into the country. The pressure mounting on both sides after a national poll from the New York Times and Siena College showed the candidates virtually deadlocked. Mr. Trump at 48 percent, Ms. Harris at 47 percent among likely voters. I am not a uh, like super Harris fan. I think that she's definitely way better than Trump in my opinion. I'll be voting for Harris. He's willing to talk to anybody and that's what I like about him. I think he's willing to face people that challenge him. An important demographic both Trump and Harris need to win is young voters. At Marquette University in Milwaukee, students spoke about what they're looking for in a president. Be a peace candidate, not a war candidate, pro-war candidate, and then crack down on immigration. That would, that would win my vote. Just be strong on your stances and have reasons to support them. Later in the week, both candidates are heading to battleground states in an effort to connect with voters. In Washington, Kevin Cork, Fox News.